But I want to talk about the breaking of the ground of the skyscraper, right? 32 floors in the Atlantic Yards project. You broke ground, I think it was in December. How far yes, along are you on this? We're doing the foundations. Foundations take about six months. And then come May, we'll be coming above ground. And it'll be a 32-story skyscraper done modularly. Um, and it'll be finished about a year from June. So it's all pretty exciting stuff. And the modular construction is very new, and it's unusual to do it in such a, in such a tall building, yes, essentially. So, so why are you going with this? Well, we've got 16 buildings to build, 16 residential buildings in Atlantic Yards. And we wanted to come up with a method that assured the same kind of pricing and also was less expensive to build, but still as good or higher quality. Okay. And that's very important for all kinds of high-rise construction in the city or any urban area. Uh, and demand, what are you seeing, Bruce, for demand? Well, it's amazing. In this city, we have such huge demand for residential rentals. Um, it's probably never been as great a demand as we're having right now. Throughout the city? Throughout the whole city. Okay, so. why is that? I think it's, um, you know, this city did not have the kind of recession that much of the country had. It came out a little bit quicker. Um, there are, is job creation in the city, household formation. Um, a lot of people moving to Brooklyn. Brooklyn is definitely the uh, place to be today. Um, I saw something which said it's the second most expensive place to live after Manhattan. <laughs> is it? That's not necessarily a good thing, but, uh, <laughs> but in fact it's true. So well, it's the, the reason demand. why I'm surprised by the demand yeah. is that you hear so much about the financial layoffs, the Wall Street layoffs, and how that has affected the commercial property market. I'm assuming it would also affect the residential market as well. Well, actually, we've had such a huge movement in the tech area. Um, there are like 500 startups uh, between Lower Manhattan and Brooklyn. So it's whether it's tech or whether it's media. Um, obviously, financial services are not doing as well. But there's so many other jobs being created in this city. It's absolutely amazing, um, given where we came from, that's for sure. Okay, now the Barclays Center. You know, the, the Nets have moved there, and that's sort of yep. given some Brooklyn pride that, you know, maybe has been lost for a little while. Uh, you're moving the Islanders there as well. We are. Uh, the hockey team. So what are the next plans for the Barclays Center? The, the next plans are really just to do it better and better. We always like to say um, we're happy but never satisfied, um, and we are happy and, and, uh, and so on. Whether it be the programming, we'll continue the great programming. The Islanders coming, getting ready for that. Our team is doing well. So, you know, it's all... The idea is to one, stay as good as we are, and then even try to do better and better. More, more shows, um, continue on the winning streaks that we've had uh, in our basketball team, right. um, and so on. So much to do. Well, a lot to do. Some have said, though, the, and I mentioned these critics sure. again who, you know, had talked about disturbing the peace in Brooklyn yeah. and that sort of thing. I mean, one of the promises you made to Brooklyn was that this would create plenty of jobs. Yes. Some have said this hasn't created quite the number of jobs that you had promised. What do you say to that? The job situation is incredible that we've done. 1,800 new jobs have been created in the, in the arena. Um, it's absolutely remarkable. The number one compliment I get about the arena is how wonderful the people are who work there. They're friendly, helpful, and so on. I'm probably proudest of that among any, anything. Imagine 1,800 jobs created, um, all union jobs, I might add. So we've done a great job in the job area. So. And do you expect more? Do you expect to have well, a, a as addition? the housing gets built, um, we expect more. As the islanders come, we expect more. So um, as we continue to build and as we add our buildings on, there will be more and more jobs. All right, Bruce, some may not know this, but you also develop, obviously, outside of New York City. So what gets you most excited outside of New York? Well, what gets me excited, I think, most uh, is the same kind of things here. I like to um, uh, build, uh, our company likes to build new things. We like to build innovative things, um, whether it be uh, something we're doing up in Westchester, a beautiful mall, an outdoor mall in a sense. Um, and it's, it's, people have complimented us as one of the most beautiful places they've really been in the area mm. for shopping. Okay. So it's about a million square feet. It's got everything from Lord and Taylor. And for the kids, we're opening a Legoland in April. Um, so it's a really a nice, nice shopping center. Okay, Legoland. My kids are very familiar with Legoland. Yes, uh, and uh, what's next for you? I mean, you just, you know, Barclays Center was a huge pinnacle in your career. The Atlantic Yards is as well. What is next for you? Well, believe it or not, in the last 20, 25 years that I've been developing, we've built 40 plus ground up projects in New York City. And I'll continue the same thing, whether it be the New York Times building that we built or whether it be the Geary building downtown, whether it be the arena or Metrotech um, or the housing, we'll just continue on the same path. There's so much to do here. We live in a wonderful city, a wonderful area. We're very, very lucky. I'm lucky to be able to develop here, frankly. <laughs>